Hi, so this is the power head to the Dyson Ball, the Animal 2, and it has a design flaw. Uh, what I think is a pretty serious one. Uh, I've seen in the forums a lot of people have been experiencing the same failures I have with this particular power head. I've had uh, two of them fail. This uh, I was on my third one when I finally figured out a solution, which I'll share with you today. The main issue is if you have a very long-haired dog, we have a, a rough coat collie, I'm sure uh, a lot of very long coarse coats will do the same thing. The hair winds up around the bearing, gets down behind these areas, wraps around the bearing, and basically uh, clogs or melt, uh, jams the bearing uh, in such a way that it uh, heats up, melts the plastic, and then uh, the drive cog literally melts off of the motor. Go ahead and do a quick disassembly here, and we'll show you the areas that are the problem. So, to clean out the hair, you have to take particular screws out of here. They're uh, a Torx head, uh, so it's not something that's easy to, to get to. It's a very small head on them. I've already removed it from these, but um, hard to get out, easy to strip. Uh, they're not meant to be removed for routine maintenance. But um, when you do remove them, when you do remove it, you can see here the drive cog that goes into the end of the brush bar. The hair gets down behind this motor housing, and it actually even gets behind this drive cog. There's another Torx screw down inside the, uh, this particular drive portion. So here's the drive cog removed. Here's the uh, small screw that goes inside of it. And I believe I misspoke. This is a spline pull, which I don't think you'll be able to see. Uh, not, I don't believe it's even actual standard Torx. Behind here you can see that there is, again, some hair that's begun to accumulate. And this happens, well, pretty quickly, actually. Uh, so this one's not, not a lot, but what ends up happening is it forms a pretty dense matted ring that almost turns into felt. It gets compacted and that's sitting right on, right up against the bearing for the motor right there. And what ends up happening when it gets severe, as you can see here, the hair begins to turn with the brush bar. The friction creates a lot of heat and you start melting the plastic. So you'll start sort of smelling this burning smell. You can't tell where it's coming from. You don't really see anything, but that is where it's coming from. It's typically behind. When you just look at it with the brush bar, with the brush bar still in, you don't really see anything. You can't tell that it's there. It's not until you remove the brush bar, remove the drive cog, that you can really see how it's packed in and matted and uh, packed in behind there. On this one, there's already damage to the actual motor housing. You can actually see the exposed bearing. It's not supposed to look like that. Here's another one that had burnt out, and you can see that it's melted a much larger hole than there should be. This sh that should be closed up. Uh, the bearing, you can see here with the bearing, uh, good melted mess here. There's melted plastic inside. One side of the uh, dust cap has completely come off. The bearings are exposed. Hair is getting pulled into the bearings, and it starts uh, basically the, the bearing starts having friction. It doesn't rotate uh, easily, and then it begins to spin on the actual uh, actual motor cog. And you can see on this one that it actually literally melted it off of the motor. That small part protruding is actually supposed to be part of the cog that's inside the uh, that's inside the housing. It's driven by the belt from the motor and that has literally just melted off from the heat generated by the friction of the bearing spinning on the plastic instead of rotating properly. So for a time frame this for us takes sometimes as little as two weeks. Uh, we vacuum three times a day, or three times a week, typically, with uh, with our fellow when he's shutting uh, in the springtime, uh, a lot of hair, so we vacuum, as I say, three times a week, and two weeks is enough that I would begin to smell the burning, I would have to pull the thing apart, clear out the little 
lot of hair that had gotten behind the, the uh, drive cog there. And I'll show you now what I did that seems to greatly alleviate, if not almost completely eliminate, uh, the problem. I'm on my current, the current uh, power head I have, I've had for uh, at least a year. And um, the last couple times I've taken it apart, I've let it run a month or two, checked it. I let it run two or three months, I checked it, and there's been very little to no hair that's actually getting it pulled in behind. So looking at this, you can see the engineers actually tried. The last set of bristles are angled towards, uh, towards the lip, toward the edge. And if they were extended a little more or at a slightly steeper angle, I think it would have probably resolved the problem, pre prevented the problem. Um, it's almost touching, but not quite, and unfortunately that leaves just enough of a gap that hair does still get down uh, behind there. My solution is as simple as can be. I simply take a small pick or screwdriver or whatever you want. I take about half of the set of bristles and move them down and actually hook them underneath this housing. They uh, ride underneath the housing and create a, every time they go around, they're completely clearing any hair and preventing it from actually getting underneath the housing, behind and down to the bearing. Um, again, I clean this off, I clean the brush bar every other time I use it because of the amount of buildup, but uh, you know, whether you cleaned it or not, it still was getting down behind there. The simple trick of just putting half the bristle set, hooking it underneath the edge, seems to so far for us has completely resolved the problem so if dyson's listening can you extend that last set of bristles angle it some more or something so there's no overhang and no gap between there that the hair can get down into seems like a five cent fix that would uh, prevent all the reports on your forums about all the power heads that are dying of this exact same thing smelling the smell of burning plastic and then one side of the brush bar or both sides stop rotating and again that is because the drive cog is literally melting off so good luck hope this works for you as well as it's worked for us and have a good day